Dionys Aka. Good morning, friends. Welcome back. You've joined Charmaine, level 61 Draenei Shaman. We're currently camping out at the temple of Tel Hamat. Going to continue our leveling journey in this area. Got a couple of quests here to pick up. Helping at Scenarian Post. And what's this one? An ambitious plan. Okay, just got a special crystal. I'll put that on my action bar, otherwise I'll forget. Let's go out here. Got a new item that was very cheap on the auction house, which I purchased. It's a big drop for my attack power statistics, but it's a big boost in my intellect. I don't know if it's any good. It's it's blue, so that feels good. Anyway, we're going to head down here, it looks like. There's a bunch of quests to do in this area. And maybe down there. Not sure about that. And this one here. Okay, let's mount up. Maybe it's better to pop out the back here. Avoid those buzzards. a lot easier. So we're going to go down and help the Scenarians. Get some Scenarian Circle reputation. That's the plan. There's a whole bunch of quests here. The Scenarian Expedition. Thorn Thang Hill clear. Hellbore blood samples. Colossal menace. Oh, totem of lightning. It's a relic. I don't think I've ever had a relic before. You put relics here. Anyway, two players. I'm not sure if I'll be able to achieve that by myself. So, these are the hell boars. I need to slay them and I might just do this quest first, be straightforward. Not too bad. Assuming they just drop the blood. Don't think I've got to do anything. Getting some big crits on this guy. He's also doing a fair bit of damage. Let's heal up. Let's pull that guy. I'm going to 
the skin that guy as well. Two blood samples. Failing to skin him. Finally. Just check my surroundings. Might just move my little totem camp up this direction. this guy here. Oh, that's a big hit. Time for a heal. Now skin. Oh my gosh. Lucky I turned. Let's come up here. Okay. That was close. Come down here for this hellbore. They're pretty big pigs. back in this direction. There's a few bits of fell weed around here. Grab those as well. This guy, let's pull him over. Pop uh, shamanistic rage, get some more mana. Watch my health getting a little bit low. Let's come over here and farm this fell weed. Um, lightning bolt this guy. That was 
that's a good start to the fight. There must have been like two hits, I think. Undead priest. That's a shame. Let's pull the sky. Shamanistic rage again. drink up after this fight. Oh wow. Some big hits. And we'll buff up with a bit of a buzzard bite. steal his his leather he doesn't need it this is the great thing about skinning poaching the hard work of others it's like a scavenging skill really and fell weaver reaver Scared away the Shadow Priest, understandably. Grab this. of hellbores around. Snout. Let's come up here. There's the quill fangs from the last episode. That's a huge hit or two. Let's pull him over. Down to 
50% health with one hit. Let's come back this direction, see if I can snare a couple of these carcasses to skin. Opportunistically capitalize on my colleagues. really. Let's pull him over. I might pop Shaman Rage again. Mount up, head back over, hand that in. I think there's a part two to this quest. Demonic contamination. Oh, look at this. Use the Scenarian antidote on a hulking hellbore. What do I do? Is that a rat? Okay, let's go over here. I don't know if I've got any skills with that weapon. Two handed mess. Oh, I do. Way out of date, though. Could I be bothered? Hmm. That's what happens, apparently. Should I take the weapon? I probably should. It does more damage. I mean, in theory... Is 
this is going to be tricky now. I might even have to pause the video while I level up. Let's pick on this. No, what should we pick on? Let's maybe pick on one of the pigs. the video for a little while while I level the weapon up. Just a little update on the leveling process. Been going about 10 minutes approximately. We have the weapon up to 228 out of a possible 305. It's very slow. We don't start really doing damage till 270, 280 I think. So I'm going to keep Keep on going. Okay, well the weapon is getting up there, doing a little bit more damage now. If I use my special abilities. It's still a very slow process. I need to keep healing myself during the fights. Getting some crits, as you can see. Using my Wind Fury totems and so on. It's probably start, probably safe to venture into a little bit of a quest, even though it'll be slow. Got there in the end. I might head down to, I don't know what you call this little area, but we'll call it this little area. See how we go. Take it slow. I'm going to start singing Kokomo in a minute, if I keep using those terms. Hmm. I think these might pull together, that's the only problem. See, he's a baddie. He's definitely a baddie. What else have I got nearby? The thorn, thorn fangs. Oh, gosh, I can't even say it. Maybe the thorn fangs are better for this purpose. Let's come over here to the thorn fangs. There's one. Ravager. So this won't be a very fast fight. Maybe I should speed it up with a bit of a searing totem. These guys do a lot of damage. Searing totems doing the heavy lifting for me. It's not the end of the world, it's not terrible. It's not, the, it's not my finest combat. main thing is the weapon still leveling. Someone might take pity on me and come and help me. There's Miss Melt. 
see, we got there in the end. Let's heal up. Retract totems. This guy is just blasted through the area, the Shadow Priest, as you can see. Let's come up here. Let's pull him over with a lightning bolt. Should probably be down there skinning all those guys. The size of this Ravager is huge. So for those of you who are new to the game or unfamiliar with the game, the little white numbers that you see rising up is the damage the weapon's doing. And the yellow numbers is the damage that my special abilities, my spells are doing. So every time you see parry, I'm missing, basically. And when you see those low numbers, that's the weapon because it's not, I'm not very skilled with it yet. Need some more mana. Sort of getting there with him. He's down to 50% health. Can you use my special healing ability, unique to the Drain Eye? starts to come alive. Well, we got there in the end. It wasn't pretty, but don't get it. What's the expression? Don't get it right. Get it written. That's an academic expression. is a little venom spitter, so that means you'll probably poison me, I'm guessing. Let's grab this, before it dissolves. We'll come up here. Give, oh, wow. <laughs> Here he comes. I just killed the totem. The totem was probably doing more damage than me and he was like, okay, let's get rid of that totem. the video, let that truck pass. So we got the level of the mace up to 280. And from this point, it gets very slow to level. Let's 
so much so that it's probably worth drinking quite frequently. Oh, look at this guy. Didn't even see him. Let's come around here. Let's have a bit of a heal, playing it safe. Oops, lost my searing totem. Getting a few more white numbers, which is good. White numbers means the weapon's actually hitting him, which is nice. This weapon will be pretty good once it's leveled up. Does more damage than that axe I had. Get that searing totem back out. And he's down. There's one just behind me somewhere, I saw him a bit earlier. Where has he gone? There he is. This guy's a venom spitter. He poisons me, I'm assuming it does. Oh, killed my totem. I can interrupt the venom spitting, that's good. Those knockbacks are very annoying. Let's go out there and get that guy there. So we got the mace up. 285 out of a possible, I think it's 305. That's pretty good. Not bad. Getting there. Okay. Let's pull him maybe sort of over here or something. some uh, slightly more respectable white numbers, as you can see. Still some misses though. And the fight's going way faster.
seal up. I'll do a couple more then probably call it a day I think. Actually the, oh, yikes, where'd he come from? I might have to run. doing is like a little patrolling one. I got I got up to two hundred and eighty seven though. Okay, one more and then we'll call it a call it a day. Let's pull him over. Let's try that again. Seventy-five. Now that's a proper hit. All right. Now we are cooking. Okay. Well, I think that'll do for today. And I'd like to thank you for joining me once again on this leveling journey. Please feel free to like and subscribe. And come and join me again soon. Bye for now.